and welcome to The New Inventors. I'm James O'Loughlin. Tonight, we'll see an invention that removes the need for women who walk to work in sneakers to carry an extra pair of shoes with them. Also, an engine that could reduce your petrol cost to zero, that's zero, and a provocative idea that could bring advertising to a river or harbour near you. On our panel tonight is a business innovator, a professional engineer and an inventor. But that's not three people, that's just the first guy. He's all of those things. His name is Roger LaSalle. Roger. Thanks, James, and great to be here. Returning to our panel is journalist and inventor Christine Kaninmonth. Christine. Hi, James. And for the first time, we welcome from the world of advertising creative director Simon Collins. Just in case you're wondering, that's Simon with one eye in his name and two in his head. <laughs> Motor vehicles run on petrol, right? And that's the way it is. Or is it? Is it possible? Could it be possible that a motor vehicle could run on thin air? Well, no, unfortunately. But what about on compressed air? I did develop a rotary piston engine that is driven by air instead of petrol. My engine is different from the others because it's got very few parts, resulting in less friction and better efficiency. Speed and torque are controlled by an air valve. It's very economic because the minute you take the foot off the accelerator, the engine will stop. The air engine can be used in places such as mining, the places where there is a fire hazard, where an internal combustion engine cannot be used. The air engine is good for any indoor use because it doesn't create any pollution. Please welcome Angelo Di Pietro. Hi, Angelo. How are you? Now, the compressed air cylinder is in here. The yes. air runs up yes. around here, yes, uh, and into the engine. Into the engine, yeah. And we simply got the indicator there simply to show that uh, it requires very minimum compression to okay. overcome the friction. And this is, uh, this is what's inside there, isn't it? That's the yes, engine. that's the what looks in there, yes. Okay, can you start her up for us? Yes, yeah, sure. Let's yeah. see. Yes, sure. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. I mean, yeah, Thank you. it's only a model, that's why it didn't go anywhere. Come, Thank come, you. come across. Yeah. Um, how much Hi. money would it, take, would it take to run it? Say per, per hour, I suppose. Uh, on the burden carrier, 15 cents for uh, 3.2 kilometres. And, and what would the engine cost? Uh, around five thousand dollars to build one engine that is for the prototype when we go into production will be much much cheaper okay five thousand dollars we estimate dollars. something around five hundred dollars five hundred dollars yeah what do you think simon i think it's very interesting um and i'm not just speaking as an advertising guy i, I once worked in a warehouse where i had to drive a forklift truck yeah and it was an old-fashioned one and everybody's aware that the, the fumes created by that kind of machinery are a problem one thing i would like to ask you is that sure. within those environments and you just demonstrated it a little bit there, is there's always a question, yes, it might be, uh, create less fumes, yes. uh, and if you like, no, less, less pollution, but the noise is no something fume, that should be No consumed. fumes at all. No, but the noise? But the, but the, the, noise, the noise level. level. Yes, the noise level is controlled by an air muffler, but uh, also it's controlled by the distribution system. Right. We have a method onto the distribution system that takes care of the efficiency be, uh, but, but higher is, power and uh, yeah, but that but would it, be it is quite loud compared with an electric equivalent. Uh, for compared example. to the electric, yes, yeah. I have to agree yeah. with you on that. But but, yes. but once well, you know, once you address that issue, I think it's great. I mean, uh, sure. Um, you know, we've 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 had uh, you know we've had machines that run yeah. on chup, chup poo. We've had we've yeah. had machines that run on water, and you know, just when you yeah. Just when you uh, just when you think maybe I shouldn't throw those old to toenail clippings yeah. away, yeah. Uh, here comes an even cheaper source. Than yeah. the, the what, what do you think, Roger? We, 
Well, firstly, uh, Angelo, I've got to uh, congratulate you on the effort to bring a thing like that to this stage. That is Thank a phenomenal effort. Mm -hmm. um, a few questions I've got. The power to weight ratio compared with, say, an equivalent size electric motor, how does it stack up? Well, it's very similar to the electric motor in white, but, uh, you know, we should not be comparing to the electric motor. We should be actually comparing to the existing A motor. Mm -hmm. When you look at the existing A motor, the piston motor, for example, it's 91 kilogram mm -hmm. compared to ours 13 kilogram. We produce 6.14 horsepower and they're producing 4.4 horsepower and, and use up double of the air consumption. So for the, for the uninitiated, that's around uh, 4 kilowatts, I guess, is it? Um, uh, yes. From that machine, yes. which is pretty good actually. Yeah. Uh, that would take an electric motor, and I, and I compare it with electric motor because that's an equivalent yeah. source of low pollution power. Yeah. And you can get, uh, the term intrinsically safe means motors that will work in a, in, a, in a volatile, flammable environment. You can get those, but the size of that for the power, I'm impressed, and uh, I'm very favourably disposed, I've got to say. Uh, I am, absolutely. You look pretty impressed, did, 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 well, did, 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 did you, you understand that? that? Yeah. I did. Yeah. I'm, no, Chris, Chris Day, what do you think? I scuba dive, and it looks to me like you've got scuba diving tanks exactly. sitting in there. Same thing? S exactly, yes. And it's so if I'm using... A scuba diving tank for 40 minutes under water. How long is this going to run for if you've got three of them sitting inside one of those carts for the markets? Well, we're doing for the markets around 10 kilometres. 10 kilometres? 10 kilometres with them three cylinder of that size, which is only 18 litres. Summing up, Simon. I think it's great. Um, and I can't wait uh, to the point that you've developed it where, never mind the cylinders, we just pull into the gas station, creep past the bowsers to the air pump. Yes. And just fill up there for nothing. <laughs> Tyres, petrol tank, away. Yeah, what about you, Roger? Uh, look, a couple of quick things. Can I fill it up from a service station air pump? Is the pressure no, sufficient? No, that pressure won't be okay. sufficient. Okay, just, just summing up. Um, it's three stage uh, compressor understood. you have to have. Yeah. Okay, look, in general, I'm impressed. I think there's a potential great, great opportunity for you here. Thank you very Thank much. You, Good luck to you. I love it. I think it's great. It's clean, it's quiet, and it's cheap to run. Can't, we can't lose. Yes, and there's a heck of a lot of Texans out there going, uh-oh. Uh, please thank Angelo Di Pietro. Well done. Thank you. You know, the person who invented the light globe, what went off above their head? Tonight's winner will be in the running to be named our Inventor of the Year. Will it be the air sign, the shoes, or the air engine. Uh, who do you reckon, Roger? Who's the winner? Well, I, air sign, not so sure. Convertible's neat, but Angelo, fantastic. I think he's the, the power to weight ratio, the size of that, the power, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. One for the air <laughs> engine. Roger is officially impressed. Christine? Well, I, I have to say it's a toss up for me between the air engine, but also Sophie's convertibles. I mm -hmm. think she's made for uh, a publicity. Bonanza. She's got a great product and I think she's going to go far with it. It's got huge worldwide appeal. It's the shoes. Simon, what do you think? I really, really want to give it to the shoes. I really want to give it to the shoes. I can see them being used in all kinds of ways. I can see them wearing both heels at the same time and running along uh, half on and half the, pa half the pavement in the rush hour and things. <laughs> but I'm impressed by phrases like power to weight ratio. Always have been. And I'm going to go with the piston engine. It is the air engine. Angelo Di Pietro is our winner tonight. Please welcome him back. Come on, Angelo. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. James. Well done. Thank you very much. Angelo, that's for you. Thank you. Oh, no, hold it up this way so we can see. Thank there we you. go. Angelo is in the running to be named our inventor of the year. And if you thought the judges stuffed it up, or even if you didn't, we also have a very big People's Choice Award. Uh, see, it's a lot bigger, isn't it, Angelo? Um, but it doesn't mean it's more important, but it is important. So if you want to choose your favourite from tonight, text one for the air sign, two for the shoes, or three for Angelo's engine to 188 7519 or ring us on 1900 956 206 or you can even go to our website at abc.net.au slash new inventors. Thanks to our judges and to the real stars of our show, not just Angelo, but all the inventors. Thank you very Please much. congratulate. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you. I put a lot into this. I'm very committed uh, and uh, I want to keep pushing on uh, going to win if I can.